What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp plugin tutorial. So today we're just going to create kind of a fun shape using helix along curve. It's going to be kind of a spiraling diamond type shape. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to use helix along curve to create a shape. If you don't have helix along curve, that's basically a free extension. I believe you can download it from the Sketchication store. You may be able to download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse as well. So anyway, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to delete out the default model. And then uh, first thing we need to do is we need to draw a line. And the line is basically going to be the length of our kind of spiraling shape. So in this case, I'm going to draw a three foot line. And the reason for this is you can't activate helix along curve without having something for it to draw the helix around. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a three foot line. You're going to come up here and you're going to activate helix along curve. And uh, you're going to come in here and you're going to mess around with some of the settings. So right now, if you were to leave it the way that it is and go ahead and hit OK, what this would do is this would create um, kind of a spiraling shape around this line with the same radius on the top and the bottom. And it's going to go around the line 20 times or 16 times. So what we want to do is we want to change this. So first of all, we want our first radius to be 3 foot. And we want our second radius to be zero because what we want this to do is we want this to start at a certain point and then we want it to end at a wider point. So then we're going to come in here and we're going to set our number of laps to one. So just come in here and just set this to one. We only want this to go around this, this line once. And then uh, you can set the number of segments in here if you want. So I'm going to set this to 24. It really doesn't matter that much on that one. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see what that does is that basically creates a helix shape with a radius of zero at the top and then a radius of three foot down here at the bottom. So it starts off kind of thin and then it gets thicker just like this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this object and we're actually going to make a copy of it. And so to do that, I'm just selecting this object then I'm using the move tool in copy mode. So I'm just going to move a copy down below just like this. Then I'm going to use the scale tool to flip it. So I'm going to flip it once along the blue axis and once along the red axis just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point right here on this corner and I'm going to move that back up just like this. So you can see what that does is that gives me kind of a complete helix that spins all the way from the top down to the bottom just like this. So you can see how now what I've got is I've got this object in here that's creating kind of the general shape that I want to have. And you can erase out your uh, guide point in here if you, or your guideline in here now. You don't really need that anymore. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explode both of these just like this because right now they come in in groups. And so to explode them, now you can see that they're just individual lines that I can select just like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two lines and I'm going to use an extension called Weld. And what Weld's going to do is it's going to take these two lines and it's going to kind of stick them together like they were one line. So you can see how before I clicked on this segment and this segment and they came in as separate objects. Well now if I come in here and I click on it, you can see how I just have to click on it once and it selects everything. And the reason we welded it is so that we're not going to have a seam right here because we're going to use pipe along path to extrude a pipe along this path. And you can you can download weld from either the Sketchication store or you may want to check the SketchUp extension warehouse for that one as well. Um, but basically what we're going to do now is we're going to activate this extension called pipe along path which you can get from the Sketchication store. And what that does is that's going to create a pipe and it's basically going to extrude it along this path just like this. And so you can put as many segments as you want in here. So we're going to set the outside diameter of our pipe to three inches. We're going to set the inside diameter of our pipe to zero. And all that means is we don't want this to be a hollow piece. We just want this to be a single solid piece. So we set this to zero. And then you can set the number of segments that you want in your object. I wouldn't go super heavy on the number of segments on this one because it could bring in a pretty high poly circle if you start going in with uh, a lot of segments. That's a lot of polygons and it'll kind of slow down your SketchUp model. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to do this as kind of an eight sided segment like this. Um, I'm going to say no to control points at nodes and I'm going to say no to move path into pipe group and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. 
And you can see how when I hit OK, what that does is that comes in here and that extrudes this piece all the way along this length, just like this. So you can see how now I've got a pipe all the way along this path that just kind of spins in a circle just like this. So and if you look at it kind of straight up and down, you can see it's kind of a complete shape just like this. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to make this a component. So we'll just call this spiral piece and hit create. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the rotate tool on our origin right here because this is kind of centered on our origin. We're going to use that in copy mode to create a bunch of different copies of this in a circle. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to save this because my SketchUp sometimes has some issues with using the rotate tool in copy mode. So I'm just going to make sure that I save this before I move any further. So now that I've come in and I've saved this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key. I'm going to move my mouse over the center point just like this. I'm going to click once and I'm going to move my mouse out to the side and I'm going to click again and what that's doing is that setting kind of a base point so you can see how this is kind of rotating in place just like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in an angle of 60 degrees so just type in 60 once you've hit that base point but before you do that you want to tap the control key to activate copy mode you can see how now this is creating a copy um, along whatever rotation angle I select just like this so come in here, type in 60. Once you've activated copy mode, hit the enter key. And you can see how that created a rotated copy 60 degrees in the original. Um, while you're doing this, go ahead and type in X5. And you can see how what happens is if I type in X5, it creates five additional copies, each one of them an extra 60 degrees um, from the last one. So you can see how what that did is that gave me six total copies of this spiraling object in a circle just like this. So you can see how now I've got this cool spiraling circle shape. So, and since these are components, you could come in here and mess around with the scale tool and stuff like that to do some kind of fun stuff with that. Or you could just kind of leave it as is. It's kind of up to you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as this spiraling diamond shape. That's kind of what I was going for here. So anyway, that's where I'm going to end today's show. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this tutorial? Have you been using Helix along Curve? Uh, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.